Hello and welcome to Exorbyte. Today we're going to look at how Exorbyte Search Navigator, an incremental search Ajax framework, can allow even the most basic internet and computing users to find what they need in a complex body of content using very advanced search queries. Such incremental search from a user standpoint exists in many different places on the internet nowadays. On exorbyte.com, for, in for instance, start typing incremental search and you'll get a number of suggested results from our site's content. Misspell incremental search and we'll correct that spelling and still return some results. That's all thanks to incremental search, but of course to our underlying matching engine, Matchmaker, and its approximate matching capabilities. Users have become accustomed to such features on sites like google.com, suggesting alternate queries based on normally normalized popular queries from google.com. The Google Suggest helps users not only find what they're looking for, but it helps them formulate their queries. And users have learned how to use it to find exactly what they need without doing what people call back and forthing, which means trying something, going to search results and coming back. And that's a big game. But Exorbyte has tried to take this much further in a new implementation of incremental search with the travel site Eltour. Eltour is the leading European last-minute travel service. Let's talk about Search Navigator for a second. What is Search Navigator to incremental search? Incremental search in general is inserting a layer of intelligence between the search user and the search engine. And that's what Search Navigator is. In the case of Search Navigator, however, Search Navigator is a search framework or an Ajax incremental search framework that's seconded by Matchmaker. Matchmaker is Exorbyte's data matching engine for structured data. Its intelligence allows to do approximate matching on tens of millions of records under 10 milliseconds with very advanced algorithmic methods such as Levenstein, taking into account phonetics and semantics and all sorts of different layers of logic, either scripted or pre-configured in our admin interface. In the case of Eltour, this logic is underneath what we're going to be looking at. But what we want to show first is what Search Navigator allows to do when it's taken to the nth level of sophistication. Let's put ourselves in the place of a traveler coming to El Tour and typing the first few letters of the city of New York. And yes, very simply, we'll return results. Now in the contrary to what we've seen on Google.com, these results are not coming from a subset of popular queries that may be hosted on the user computer, in these temporary internet files, or in a small file on the server of popular queries. No, these are straight from the database, the catalog of tens of thousands of travel options that Eltor sells online. And these come with not only their name, but their price, count of matching uh, records or matching travel options for in this case the city of departure of New York or airports in New York. Let's try to type something a little bit more complicated. D Dusseldorf is often misspelled. Dusseldorf, the city of Dusseldorf in Germany, did come back spelled correctly thanks to matchmakers approximate matching features. If we choose this city as one of the alternate suggestions, instead of just taking us to a list of results for travel options to Dusseldorf or from Dusseldorf, very interestingly, Eltor proposes another set of suggestions. 
In this case, the suggestions <clears throat> in this case the suggestions include countries to which you may want to travel from Dusseldorf. And not only on one set of pages, but several. Following the country you may want to travel to, we have the months you, you may want to travel by. The hotel class, the type of room, and countless number of different variables, all the way down to the number of days that your trip may last. By choosing any one of these variables, the user can keep defining a custom travel package and monitor at each step what is the best price available for his trip options that have been pre-chosen before and what is the number of alternate trips available under these options. Of course the user can also choose to actually type a given query and be suggested the result. But if the user chooses all these options to the end, he can just submit it and get a list of the travel results remaining under these options. Or, he can remove some of the pre-chosen options and just get a list of the results again. In any case, in all these potential scenarios, what Eltor has achieved in our uh, opinion is basically to reproduce a, an artificial travel agent. Yes, a travel agent is a person that actually helps a traveler who doesn't necessarily know where he wants to go, how he wants to travel or when he wants to travel, choose the best travel package for their budget. But in this case there is no human involved, all this was done with Search Navigator and with the logic and catalog required by LTOR. Thanks for listening, and we hope to see you very soon again on exerbyte.com.